Adarsu Adarsul Khamisa Ashara Lesson number 15 Al-Fatayatu What is the meaning of Al-Fatayatu? Young ladies Ladies What is the singular? Fatatun Fatatun You got to get used to it now inshallah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Zainab Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Man antunna. Before in the lesson we said man antun. Now we say man antunna. Ya akhawatu. Who are you, O sisters? Ihdahunna. Brother, what is ihdahunna? One of them. So what kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, mudafili. It is mudaf, mudafili. Actually, Ihda is written like this, brothers. How is it written? Ihda. But if you put Hunna here, then this changes into, it changes into Ihda. Hunna. Uh, these are small, small spelling rules. You'll keep it in mind. Huh? Originally, it is written the way I wrote it on top. Ehda. But then if you add plus hunna, then it changes into this way. Nahnu panatu shaykhi Abbasin. Now here comes our interesting situation. Nahnu. Sister Arifa, what is Nahnu? Mubtada. Where is the khabar? Banatu. Wahua? Buddha. And what is Buddha filahi? Shaykhi. Banatu Shaykhi. Fine. I got it. What is this Abbasin doing here? It is Badal. Brother Farooq? Do you see Abbasin? Where will you put Abbasin now? Hmm? See as Shaykhi, Abbasin. So Abbasin is your badal for Shaykhi. And if you remove Shaykh, what will you say? Nahnu banatu Abbasin. Huh? It will make sense. Sahih? Nahnu banatu Shaykhi. We are the daughters of the Shaykh. And then we say Abbasin, so which is actually a badal for Shaykh. Inshallah, you will understand this. This is a Salman. Does it make sense? Inshallah. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. Ummu kunna. How many words? Two. Mudaf, mudafili. Ummu kunna ustazati. Ustazati. How many words are there? To mudaf mudafili. So in this situation, where is mubtada? Ummu. Wahuwa mudaf. And then mudafilihi. And where is your khabar? Ustaza tu. Ustaza tu. My. Kaifa haluha. How is she? Huh? What is the answer? Hiya bi khairin. She is well. Walhamdulillah. Hiya mubtada. Bi khairin, jar majur, shibu jumla khabar. Very good, brother. Aina hi alana. Where is she now? Hi alana fir riyad. How will you translate? She's now in riyad. Fine. Now is a very interesting question. Mata zahabat. Mata. What is the meaning of mata? When. Mata zahabat. When did she go? Uh, see, now inshallah you will be able to understand and translate, huh? Without difficulty. But this book is so, the way it is arranged, it's very beautiful. And you will understand every sentence in it, inshallah. And with the exercises that we are doing out of the book, will help you to understand with ease, inshallah. Mata Zahabat, what is the answer? What is the first word? Zahabat, because we are still talking about her. So you'll say Zahabat Kabla Usbu'in. What is Kabla? Zarf. And what is Usbu'in? Mudafilihi. 
Okay? So brothers and sisters, Kabla means ago, before. Huh? So how will you translate this? Zahabat, she went a week ago. A week before. A week ago. Fine brothers and sisters. So Zahabat. Analyze this. Zahabat. Where is the fiel? Zahaba. And then Tautanisi. Where is the file? Mustatir. In this case, it is Mustatir. Ma- Mashallah. Very good. Man Zahaba Ma'aha. What is the translation of it? Who went with her? Of course, in Saudi Arabia, you cannot travel alone. Okay? In Canada, you can. But not in Saudi Arabia. So, man zahaba ma'aha, who went with her? Now, it is a very interesting sentence and I want you to analyze it, brother. Huh? What will you say? Zahaba ma'aha akhuna Ibrahim. Huh, brothers and sisters? Zahaba ma'aha. What is ma'aha? Zarf and mudafili. With her. Okay? And here comes Akhuna. How many words? Two. Two. Mudaf, mudafili. Do you see Akhu Marfu? Do you see Akhu Marfu? Huh? It is Marfu. Do you see Badal? Huh? Badal Sayyid, do you see Akhu Marfu? Yeah. Uh, it is Marfu. Huh? Fine. It is Marfu. And do you see Ibrahim Marfu? Yes. Okay, fine. Now, as we know our rules, that files are always Marfu. Huh? And if you see a sentence, try to see if there is a noun which is marfu, maybe it is your file. So zahaba is your verb. Where is your file? Is it mustatir? Or is it in the sentence? Akhuna. Akhu is your file. Not akhuna, but akhu is your file. Wa huwa mudaf and na mudafili. Sister Hafsa, I said, the files are always marfu. It will end with dhamma. Okay? And when you see a verb in the past tense, in the third person, only in the third person I am talking about he and she. Only in these two, he and she. Remember? There is a possibility the file is in the sentence. If it is not in the sentence, then it is mustatir, hidden. But in this particular case, when we go through the sentence, I see akhuna. And akhu is marfu. Why it is marfu? Because it is the file. File is always marfu. Sahih? Sister Arifa? So here, akhuna will be your file. You got the point, Brother Hassan? Huh? You got to think it about it. Huh? Akhu is your file. Huh? Okay, remove ma'aha for the time being. What will you say? Zahaba akhuna. So akhuna then immediately came close to the fiel and we see it is marfu, it is fine. Sahi? Fine. Okay. Sister Arifa, what is this Ibrahim doing here? It is badal. See, now your mind can tell you, huh? Badal for what? Ahu, huh? Sister Aisha, do you feel it? Sister Mamuna, Ahuna Ibrahimu, huh? our brother Ibrahim. Remove Ahuna, what will you say? Zahaba Maha Ibrahimu, then Ibrahimu will become your file. And if you say Zahaba Maha Maha Ahuna, Zahaba Maha Ahuna, then Ahu is your file. But you bring Ibrahim, then there is a badal, and it is badal for Ahu. Got the idea? Very interesting sentence, huh? Inshallah. Sister Salma, did you feel it? Alhamdulillah. Kaifa halu kunna? How are you all? What is the answer? Nahnu bi khair, walhamdulillah. Now comes our ayy. Fi ayyi madrasatin antunna? How will you translate? In which school you are? Huh? So whether fi, avchar, ayyi, is a majur, and remember, ayyi is always mudaf, so it is mudaf, and then 
a madrasatin with two kasras tanwin that is the 